Some of you might know what burnout is, and for those of you that don't know, I'm here for you. Burnout is a state of exhaustion that can suck the life out of your career, but that's not just it, there's more to it. Well, it's true that it's a feeling of exhaustion, but you can also get burnout from being distant from your job or career. For example, I'm working on something and I suddenly get tired and I decide to rest. So I take a 30 minutes break and from 30 minutes it turns to an hour, then 2 hours, then I lose interest in that stuff. That's burnout. Burnout could also be when you overwork yourself on something. And no, burnout doesn't mean you're mentally unstable or insane. Here's proof. Okay, so there was this time I had an academic burnout. An academic burnout is like a mental or physical reaction to prolonged studying that results in exhaustion, frustration, lack of motivation, and reduced ability in school. And this burnout comes mostly when it's time for tests or exams. Alright, alright. I'll be real with you. I speak for myself when I say, I don't pick up a book until it's two weeks, or probably a week to the exam. Don't judge me, okay? If I didn't do that then, I'll be able to educate you all on burnout now. So, keep listening. Where was I? Yeah, I don't pick up a book until it's two weeks to the exams. And it kills. Yes, it kills. Because when you're close to the exam, you get tired so easily. You feel tired no matter how much sleep you get. Then you feel like you can't attend another class. Or you can't do that assignment you're meant to meet tomorrow. Then you start screaming at everyone because you're frustrated at how everything is turning out. Wait, I'm not done yet. You can't meet deadlines or add any value in class. Then you have migraines all the time. Then you start losing interest in school. Then you lose focus in class. Then you start eating a lot because you think that can solve a problem. Then exams come and you don't get the results you saw yourself getting at the beginning of the semester. What? Don't look at me that way, you both know that's what happens, but it's actually fine because these things happen to the best of us. And as usual, based on countless events, I have a guide on how to prevent or come out of this burnout. Let me know if it works. Alright, Akka's Guide to Academic Burnout and stuff. Set reasonable goals for yourself before you resume school and try as much as possible to achieve them. I'm not one to pick goals for people though, but your goal should end up making you a better person at the end of the day. Did I say that right? I don't know. Stop procrastinating. What you can do today, don't say you'll do it tomorrow. If you keep procrastinating and pushing things to the next day, you get tired of pushing and you give up on whatever it is. Or simply put, you lose interest. Time management. Plan yourself. Plan every time you'll be spending. Where and when. What are you going to be doing from 8 to 12 pm? Are you going to sleep after classes or hang out with friends to forget about the stress you're going through? Plan every single hour or minute. I don't know. And keep in mind that whatever it is, you can always come out of it. I don't know who needs to hear this, but that passion, that dream that you've lost interest in, maybe from burnout or whatever, you can still achieve that dream. You just need time to yourself, like have a serious discussion with yourself and try and change things your way. Do it your way. Don't go online and be like, um, I'm feeling this way, what do I do? No, sit down, talk to yourself and change things. Change things. Your plan might not look decent or good, don't worry about it, as long as you're doing something to not be where you are currently, that's progress itself, I think. It all starts with getting up. Get up and do something with your life. Did that sound too deep? I, I, I felt that sounded too deep. I don't know. Toodles!